Hello guys, so this is going to be a two replay replay analysis video, right? Uh, I take breaks in bar all the time, so my skill uh, my skill rating uh, fluctuates a lot, right? When I uh, first started playing, I was really good at the game. I, I got to like 34 TS, right? Um, and then I took a long break, and then I come back, and I'm like, oh god, uh, people are a lot better now. Oh, why are they using scout so much? Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, so I, I frequently take long breaks because, you know, Dr. Penguin stuff, I got a busy life, got to do schoolwork, right? Um, and that makes me rusty over and over again. So for my own reference and for, I, I guess, you, right? Uh, I have this, uh, I guess, so medium skill lobby, right? Medium to average, right? It's pretty average. Um, uh, I've been on a win streak here because I've been made some small adjustments. I had, like, uh, last time I took, uh, last time I got off the break, right? Uh, I was having a win streak loss because I was I was just not sure what was happening and like my build just wasn't working. So I decided to change things up, right? I come back, I start playing Cortex, and so here is two games I will show where I actually win insanely quickly, which is very good. Um, but we'll just I'll just go over some of the things that I'm doing that I think are helping. Now keep in mind, right now I'm 24, 25 TS, right? Uh, in the past I've been 34, so. You know, there might be better players with better guides out there, right? Uh, but, you know, maybe this is both entertaining and insightful, so maybe you can learn something from this. So I started to do, even though it's this is uh, Supreme Ismith, right? Supreme Ismith of the map, classic map from Supreme Commander. Um, Wind is very good on this map. However, like, on pretty much every map, I've decided that it's, it's like, almost never worth just, like, building nonstop wind. Like, you want, actually... Two solar. I, I I think two solar is the ideal number here. I used to do one solar, and I was on the lose streak. I see. I don't know. But I started doing two solar. My rationale for this is when you start the game, you have this massive bank, right? And you actually need to dump this. You need to dump this as fast as possible, um, so that effectively that metal is now on the map, getting you value. So the longer you have this bank, the worse it is, basically. And these are less efficient at producing energy, but they produce more energy for the time you invest into it. So you're basically spending the metal to get more energy now, as opposed to building the wind, which pay themselves off after a long time. And they're also random. They're random, right? So um, because of this, so you can get screwed over by this. So you want the, the stable income of two of these to, to power your um, factories. Also, notice when I started the game, because this third mech is a little distance out of the, your commander's spawn range, or your spawn range is like here, you can build this one and then this one, and then you can walk like three seconds, like this far, or maybe just like this far, and then you can build this. And it'll perfectly time it to, to like 30 energy. Um, and it'll build this completely. And then because these are not windmills, these solar panels are uh, energy free, zero, it doesn't matter that you're at zero energy, right? Um, it doesn't matter. You're just gonna build this at maximum speed. So a huge reason why you go solar first now for me. Okay, so I decided to go bots, right? I've been finding that uh, Cortex bots and Cortex uh, bots on T1, T2, uh, T3 even is just so, so reliable as opposed to Armada, and which is why I'm playing Cortex. All right, we start with the uh, Cortex uh, factory, right? Okay, uh, let me go back to one time. See, so I have this queued up immediately after this is built. We build four to five, depending on the map, four to five power, uh, wind, wind. Because even though this is better in the early game, you do want to start using wind, like, 99% of your energy from wind because um or most of it because these are actually more efficient in the long run so getting this started up now is is better you don't want to be using this uh metal for these now because you want to be using it for these units now so this metal is the the early investment to get this power like they, th these two structures have probably banked a huge amount of power and these are now catching up giving you value so once these four to five are down i went for five because wind was really low so i decided to go five and then I went uh, for Engineer. I do Engineer, Reclaim Bot, uh, three to four Grunts, and then um, two to three more Engineers. So you get four total. Uh, three or four total, right? And then I do um, is it two Aggravators, one Thug, two Aggravators, one Thug, two Aggravators, one Thug, and then five, two, five, two, five, two, like over and over until I get these numbers, right? All right, so this first guy, he went and reclaimed some metal and stuff, some energy for me. And then I'm like, oh, actually, first game, I'm like, hey, first game I've done this in a while. I'm like, hey, actually, there's reclaim in the center, and I always move my commander, and I'm always too late. Let's use the Grey Robber. Let's use the Res Bot and get him over. First uh, uh, first Engineer also runs out, gets this uh, uh, Metal Extractor, runs back, 
plants this, uh, the construction turret. Next couple guys, so there are, um, what is it? I think four, yeah, oosh, sorry, sorry. There are four, four grunts out for me, right? Uh, there are four grunts out on me, and then the next three guys, uh, three engineers are coming out. Look at the, the mass. We have a mass bank, right? We, we need to spend it. So we're increasing our power, uh, or our build power, right? So these guys are now going to focus fire, or focus build that. That means once this is done, that's that's replacing the commander's build power. So now the commander can leave, right? I think I forgot to mention that um, when you're you're pumping out your units, your uh, your army here, um, your 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 first couple of units, you're gonna going to power stall because you're building the engineers. The engineers start building, so you do need to build a couple more power generators. So it's gonna be three to four, right? No, three to four. Um, if you forget, like just remember the rule two. So you can do two, two, or, or is it two? four four right so that's factors of two right and then four engineers total and yeah so this is now up and then these guys can do whatever one of these guys at least one is going to go off and start spamming power with um if you do shift and alt you can um start uh building power out, right and occasionally the other guys that are focusing the um what do you call it the uh, factory can actually build the energy converters to you getting supported by the construction turret because they take forever to build, right? So that's that's how it's working. And so now it's actually a very effective build I found. Okay, so this guy reaches the front. Now we send most of our time. So, so this is actually, uh, if you notice, this is actually very automatic over here, very automatic. You only need to come back occasionally to build additional windmills or like these power generators. And this guy can do do his thing. And then occasionally you, you drop, drop one of these down, right? One of these down, right? So one of these and more power, right? So this guy's just building power, they're building power. And so for, for the next like, four or five minutes, you can you can just kind of coast like this. You, you barely look at your base. You just drag your units to the front here. And that's what I'm doing. So now I'm microing, right? I know I can't take this fight, so I send my Grave Robber back. And if you're microing backwards, you actually get a better trade. See, he, he loses one. I lose one. He loses one. I lose one. So he lost two. I lost two. Even though he had the numbers advantage, just because I'm backpedaling. And I'm being pesky, I'm microing, I'm getting as much value as I can. I'm like, he's not here, so I can I can eat this. Uh, units are not being microed, I need to reset my rally over here. That, that's another thing you need to do. I see I have a huge bank, so I build another, I just take one of these, pull them down, hit shift, right click the factory. He's going back out to the front, or he's assisting the factory. This will increase my build power. I won't need to, uh, I won't have as much as a bank. Uh, I think I sent my, hold on, where did my grave robber go? Yeah, it's still here, okay. Grey Robbers still here, Commander's reaching the front. So I do want to push past the midline here, right? This this is the midline. So I'm, I reach the midline. I see I have all the space. Actually, let me go into my player view, right? I see I have all the space here, so I'm like, okay, we can get this up, get one of these up, get our radar up as fast as possible, right? Hopefully I built this before the enemy team, so that means I have a mass lead. That's what I'm thinking, get a mass lead. And just these units are just constantly coming out here, right? And economy's growing, like it's just constantly growing, constantly producing units. Very good, microing units. Got the got the, the the foot in the door. We have a foothold here, so now we get to push up because no one's contesting me. I mean, what do say? We get to push up because uh, no one's contesting me. I see the blob here, so I'm trying to push up. Um, I don't want to leave this corner too much because they can run by like this. So I do want to position here so I can um, sort of push red back as well as being able to respond to a run by. Um, once I get my units to the front. And you can see it's just a constant stream of units as well. Uh, this is probably part of my success. Is uh, Actually, I just get this sneaky run by here because I see he's positioned up here, so I just go around it. Go around it, and there is absolutely nothing to defend, so I just get this free base wipe with one grunt because uh, <laughs> Beyond All Reason should be called Beyond All Run Buys, so I micro him. This is getting up. F command, fight command. Fight command in with your um, rocket bots. This guy is base wiping, right? Red is base wiped. He is in a world of hurt. My allies are also on the front, so we have a massive advantage here. I don't know where these allies are here. Why are they setting up way back here? This is really bad. This is also probably why they lost. If these guys were way up here, I wouldn't have been able to push up this quickly. These guys are just way too slow. Oh, yes, right. I want to say, like, look at this. Um... He's gotten five Wolverines out from this position here. Five Wolverines, right? Five. Uh, it's kind of hard because I'm getting my allies' units, right? 
I can't select these. Okay. Um, nope, 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 and nope. Look at this. 20 units. 20 units in that in the same amount of time. I think vehicles kind of suck, guys. <laughs> on 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 um Supreme Supreme Ismus. It, it's it's kind of bad because you get your your base ones and then you get one two right maybe two right that that that's kind of not enough metal for that you're at 13 income right 13 income i mean i'm maybe i'm playing well right so i get a let's say i'm at 13 income as well i mean it's you're just gonna get more units out with the the bots on this map um you can't reach that critical mass of um artillery units as quickly so that's where why the bots have the advantage here in my opinion also, this happens. Uh, he's, he's got bait and swipes. He's got nothing. These guys can perfectly kite a commander and kill him. You just kite back and forward over and over. And if he's running away, you just chase him. It, these guys have, what, 64 speed? And these guys have... Where's the speed? Um, I don't know where... I don't think it says so. But you can see on the map, or like on the screen here, he just dies. Uh, what's the speed? Why why can't I see it? Is it 37 speed? 37 speed or something? I don't know. Yeah, it's probably 37 speed, so these guys can just kite and kill, and they have more range as well, so yeah, kill him, get his body, reclaim that, and I pause for a moment so that I can get more units here. Actually, never mind. <laughs> just to secure the position a little bit, because I wasn't sure what was going to go on, so now I'm like, okay, uh... Okay, there's there's nothing in front of me in this area. There's absolutely nothing in front of me, so I'm going to push up. In the back, units are still being produced. I've also started doing this um, as well. So around 300 power income. I think in my original guided uh, video, I, I I talked about this. Around 300 power income, um, probably around close, like above 300, right? 300 is like the minimum. You want to do like, actually, I think I did this at 300, right? Um, but around 300, you want to start making advanced fusions because um, usually at this point, for whatever reason, I feel like if you're winning or if you're doing, I don't know, you can just reclaim a little bit on the map and you can afford these 300, 400 metal um, solar collectors, which 75 energy is one energy converter, one of these metal per seconds. Um, and that's just pretty good. So, you know, build a couple of them. I, I tend to build like anywhere from like, four to six of them maybe maybe three sometimes three to six right three to seven three to eight right sometimes a little more if i if i really want to right uh three to eight like yeah just just some number some factor of them because building these out over like a bunch really skyrockets your your energy income for whatever reason it just feels like um you get a lot of energy really quickly it does take a lot of energy income initially to build it which is why i recommend you doing these uh windmills first and on this side, because red collapse, this guy is is uh, suffering, and uh, you kind of get the idea of how the build over thing works here. And now we just sort of capitalize on and ride the wave, and we just reclaim everything. I will uh, shortly. Yeah, I think I was doing. I built that just because I'm like I need the energy just to build these right now, and I have the mass. I can just dump one and can reclaim it later. It's within the build range. So I can reclaim that later. And yeah, this guy's this guy's suffering. Yeah. Uh, feels bad, man. And I kind of just, uh, steamroll this. Okay. And this guy is very sad, and you kind of get the idea here. So, that'll be it for this replay, I guess. Like, look at this. I mean, I feel like that was crushing. Definitely crushing. Uh, yeah. I, I like this opening. I, I've started to do this a lot more, and my win rate has gone, like, way up. I think this works. <laughs> I think this works, guys. Um, what's, what is it? Metal, is it, where is it? Metal produced, 9k. <laughs> that, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, green out did me, but he's eco, right? Green out did me. Um, metal produced, yeah, 9k. Yeah, no one out, outmatched me, right? So, probably a lot of that comes from this, uh, this commander kill, like, the reclaim, right? Reclaim is a huge part of the strategy, right? And at some point, um, I remember I moved my, um, Brave Robber from the front to the back to get the trees. I think I built a second one somewhere, yeah, over here, to also get trees because I was lacking power. Um, usually because one engineer building these uh, windmills is good, but not enough. Sometimes I get the second engineer like this to, to build it, and sometimes even that's not enough, you know? Um, 
And this pretty much sets me up to go T2. Like, I'm at... Once this is done, I can easily get this done and this one done. That'll put me at, like, 800 energy income. If I go look at the T2, it's 1,600 uh, energy, right? 800 energy income is a, is, is, is a lot compared to 300, right? Where I was just sitting at very shortly prior. Um, although, I'm guessing the energy... Yeah. Uh, it's kind of confusing to look at. <laughs> Yeah, the reclaim from the map makes it very difficult to, to tell. So actually, I was sitting at 200 with just the windmills. This brings me up to 300. This, uh, actually, okay, let's say, let's just say all the reclaim from the map pushes me up to 300 with the windmills, right? Because this is 200 from the windmills. So this takes me from 300 to 375. This takes me from 375 to 450. This takes me from uh, 450 to uh, 525. And then this one takes me to about 600, right? 600 energy income at, at like a base level is going to make the um this so much faster so fast so much faster assuming you have the mass and you can just reclaim your factory and reclaim to the map and there's a the strategy okay let me go to the other game here i think you will have to see all my replays yes all right let's go to the next replay here hopefully it doesn't crash when i'm like recording and changing replays I wonder if I should name this a guide video. <laughs> I guess that I'll call it like basic opening guide video. That, that that's, that's a good title. I think it's a good title. Oh, okay, we didn't crash. Okay, good. And I'll give it a few seconds because for whatever reason, once Yeah, I like to wait till after that and then hit the skip button because I've had it bugged out where it doesn't I'm actually sorry. spawn everyone in. Okay, we are on thermal shock. This is a non-standard map, this is not common. Um, so I was drawing on the map, I'm like, uh, just from previous experience on this map, um, it's very easy if you hold this choke and this choke, um, and, and you, if you go even here, you actually get control over so many mexes. Like, these three, these three, and these three, you get six mexes. Or is that not? <laughs> I'm mapping. You get nine mexes from pushing just a little bit past the midline here. And it's very easy to hold the choke once you get there, right? So you really, really do want to hold the, the midline, but that's besides this video. I'm playing down here, okay? Um, I will say, my opponent is higher ranked, but he uh, allegedly, he is drunk right now. <laughs> allegedly, he is drunk right now, so subtract like five points off him. <laughs> okay, so I'm doing the same opening. Wait, um, because there isn't a walk distance... Huh? I don't know why I didn't decide to build the third mechs, but I should have instead of building this. Maybe I just uh, messed up. But yeah, you can see the second two um two solar opening. Uh, honestly, it's not a big deal going it back a different. But I I think looking back, I actually it's so hard to tell. I think I should have built the third mechs first. But I'm doing the same opening, um, double solar factory one two three, and I decide four. Uh, it's like, I want more of them if I think I have to encounter the enemy soon, sooner. Or like, I think the enemy will have a higher presence. And then this map, because it's so close, I'm like, I need a couple more grunts before I go into aggravators again. And I'm doing the, the shifting thing, the one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, and then five and two, five and two, five and two. And this guy was queued to build windmills, and you can see it's four, factor of two, two times two is four. Because uh, I see the base is 4, I decide uh, the base wind is 4, so that it's a very good wind map, right? So I'm like, okay, I only need 4 wind, and then I can pump out the engineer faster. Pump out the engineer faster, or the units faster. Yep, he goes to the, the factory, this guy goes out, and he starts uh, claiming mexes, right? Second grave robber, or first grave robber comes up comes out, and I decide to get the, the, ma the, ma uh, the energy out here first, and then come back. Hopefully he doesn't die, is my, my thought process. And you see what's happening right here? As you're getting the units out, you'll you'll hit this uh, bottleneck in energy. And that's when, that's when you get your, 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 your additional power. It'll, it'll pay for basically the engineer's production. Additional power, and then back to the factory. And our units are now just going out to try to scout, push uh, push towards the midline here. Second engineer comes out, 
And now he he built. I've also done this, sort of doing this as well. I um, positioned the factory such that the the construction turret goes behind it, so that you can extend the um, construction turrets backwards like this, and then the back end of it can be used to build uh, fusions, uh, depending on the map. Uh, here on this map, if time went on enough, I probably would have built the fusions like over here, right? And then if the the map went longer, I would have sent engineers to the back over here and built. Uh, a fusion base over here um just to have a second like income and it, it's also d distant from the uh enemy's front line basically right so that's the thing that's the positioning why i put this here so that i can uh have um the uh construction turrets aiding in the uh the uh what do you call it the fusions later so second third second comes out builds that third and fourth will come out to support right and then this guy will leave. The commander will leave the front, uh, the back here. To go to the front. Yep, and now he leaves. And I believe I'll put these guys back onto the factory once they finish building this. Uh, this guy, because I didn't micro him, he, he went to the factory by automatics. Um, I was... During all this as well, during all this like little base movements, I've been microing these units out here. I believe I was just encountering some rovers, so some scouts, and I caught blue not paying attention, and my grunts were able to kill a bunch of them. And this is probably, I think maybe these videos might not be the best because <laughs> I get a little lucky, okay? With those four, like the opening grunts, like you can actually poke, like you poke and try to get a run by in. My ally does get a run by in as well. And yeah, blue, blue gets white. I mean, I don't know. Maybe this might not be the best videos because it is just like kind of lucky that I get the run by in, but I don't know if it's just luck because the production, the production behind it is also solid. I think the production behind it is solid. Ally gets a run by. I guess my ally was not green. Uh, my eyes deceived me. I don't know, but the production behind it is not 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 bad. And like, we got units coming out like constantly now. Incomes like growing. It, it feels really good. I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you. Even though I'm getting the run bys in, it feels good. All right, move up to the the midline. Get the the forward base here, or forward like a checkpoint. You know, it's just like a little checkpoint here, and some skirmishing. I, so, I, I didn't notice that this happened, so I lose that Engineer. Heals bad man. I know he's in the area, or later I know that he's in the area, I guess I see the Engineer's gone, so I'll send this guy back early, I think. Yeah, I mean, like, these guys come out right at a good time. And they start, and, and I have like a, a thug to defend it as well. Commander's there to defend it too, we got the whole three unit types. It's gonna be two, right, but yeah, two unit types. But, like, this is a good combo. It, it works really well. Constantly growing income, sharing with a little bit of the team, that's okay. We just take this guy and we build this occasionally, go back, then come back and build this, and then go back and then make sure this guy keeps building power, and then occasionally take this guy and build more power, and then go back and micro, and it works. It, it just seems to work, guys. It, it just seems to work. Um... Yeah, I believe I have radar back here, so I am able to see this guy, and then you just kite him. Um, but I decided, I decided to do the comm sack because I wanted these units. Actually, I just wanted to keep them. Just, just, just the trade comms. I thought it would, I could just kill the comm, but um, maybe I moved my commander too close, and so now there's two bodies here. But that's okay. Um, we have a res bot somewhere, right? Uh, yeah, we have a res bot. It's okay, guys. We got a red spot, and he dies. Oh, wonderful! Just wonderful. So now I'm like, go back, hold Alt, press Gravekeeper, make sure this repeat is on, so it doesn't cancel what's be being built, right? And so Gray Robber comes out, and he's gonna go reclaim that 2.5k metal. Give me that 2.5k metal. Pump him out. Pump him out. And honestly, like, we are in such a good position. We have the midline over here. Ally has moved up to here. Um, don't know what's going on in the rest of the map. Like, honestly, guys, <laughs> hold that choke. Insane value of get, getting all these mexes. Okay, 
but I'm not concerned with the rest of the map. Look, we got all these units now, and the projection was just solid. It's just solid. It, I think it's just a solid build. Uh, some like 40 TS players probably screaming at me, right? Like, but I think this is a decent um, build for at least if you're a new player, like a new player. Uh, this this is this is probably a solid build. It it just produces it. I I just think it works so well. I <laughs> yeah. So I'm reclaiming this, and I think they just give up. Yep. Yeah, they just gave up. These units are just pushing in. I have full control over this area. I have uh, another engineer going out to rebuild like all the mexes. I probably should send a second one and start building some defenses out here. Um, and also with these bodies, I should also be thinking about T2. Although probably I would start the advanced soldiers like the last video. I would start them like up here probably just because it's close to the engineer. Um, like maybe I could fit them over here, like just a little bit in this area, and the converters get to like 600 energy income, and then go T2, and then there's nothing they can do. Like, they they'd be too far behind. Although a lot of this stems from the the run by from my teammate and from the grunts that got by, so a little bit of luck, right? But you know, maybe this is both entertaining and insightful. You know, maybe this build is uh, decent. You know, and hope this is a okay. Uh, basic opening build guide, I guess, for new players. Yeah. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.